get back It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the same And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, our sponsor is Rise25.com, where entrepreneurs of six, seven, and eight-figure businesses come together live and in person every few months to solve their biggest business challenges, and they leave with lifelong friendships. Check out Rise25.com. It's run by myself and co-founder John Corcoran. It's application only. Today, I'm very excited. We have Jason Friedman, who is founder of CX Formula. He helps fast-growing entrepreneurial companies gain an unfair advantage over their competition. He's going to go through how, how you can do it, how he's done it for other companies. His clients range from solopreneurs to companies like Adidas, Nike, Universal Studios, Disney, Bank of America, Stanford, Harvard, it goes on and on. It's pretty amazing. In in 2008, Jason sold his first company, Creative Realities, in the high eight figures. Congratulations, that's amazing. He has started and successfully exited four other businesses. Jason, thanks for joining me. Awesome. Thanks thanks for having me, Jeremy. I'm excited to be here. You know, since it's Inspired Insider, I always ask, um, what's been the lowest point? And how you push through, and then what's been the proudest moment? What's been the lowest point, and how you push through? Uh, lowest point, um, just kind of in life in general. I, I think I I shared a little bit of that with you already, like the the selling of the business and not knowing where to go and not knowing what my purpose was and feeling like, you know, is this all there is? Like, you know, did I I, I got a bunch of money and I. I grew a business and I had lots of employees and I exit like what's next and 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 having no clue and and not having a big enough vision I think um, was perhaps the lowest and I think the answer was um, coaching I, you know I was going to the strategic coach still and I was um, working with friends and stuff and I was getting myself reconnected to my own big why and and what I want to do and and that that my future is bigger than my past right like what I've done everything I've done up to today, and I believe this, is is the the proving grounds for what the next thing is, or the preparation for the next thing. Right. And that you're gonna keep going and keep pushing through. So that the thing that, that got me through that time was focusing on the future. So being future focused um, and knowing that my future, believing that my future was gonna be bigger and that I could accomplish anything that I wanna do. You know, I set out my sights, I reminded myself of how I, when I was, First starting out my business, how I was fearing when you're with the copy machine in the living room. Exactly, the copy machine in the living room, and and uh, you joke. I'm gonna find a picture that I'm gonna send it. To I you. want it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. It was a Canon machine. I'll never forget it, um, because I remember having to throw it out too. Um, <laughs> it was heavy, um, but anyway, you know, it's like that, I, I was fearless in that moment, right? Like I knew I didn't have the kids. I didn't have all the same expenses and responsibilities and whatever. And so, like, I was willing to take a lot of risks. And over time, when you get more and more success or whatever, you're sometimes – I, I was a little bit less willing to take some risks and, and, and less being – less willing to be – have a vision of the future because I was lost. And so, so what I'm very good at now is – um, I write down uh, some three things I'm grateful for every day, and I think about the future and what I'm going to do, and that's changed everything for me. What's so, the big why now? Uh, I want to help other entrepreneurs uh, be successful and live the lives that they want. So my goal for the next five years is to help 10,000 entrepreneurs, and then I'm going to go bigger with that goal. But I want to work with 10,000 businesses. I want to help them through developing a customer-centric mindset, uh, really understand how to grow their business, how to create the systems and processes in their business. I got to let them work on their business. I'm just in their business, create more value, make a whole lot more money, make their competition virtually disappear by doing the right thing for their customers. And I've done it with many people before, but I want to do it exclusively with small business entrepreneurs now and help them do that. So really what excited. about the proudest moment in your, in the journey or one um, of the proudest moments? 
Uh, there's so many. Uh, I've had a lot of pride, proud moments. I mean, I think one of the things that I was, uh, well, a, a few different things. You know, selling the business was fine. You know, and it was it was not what I set out to do. I had set out to get investors for the business, mm-hmm. and we ended up selling it because we, we were pulled in that direction. So when you set out to get investors, they were like, "We want to buy this." Yeah, that's that was the problem. It's yeah, a we good to good problem, something. right? I, I'm not complaining, yeah. but it was that's. I think that's why I wasn't mentally prepared. Also, like right. I wasn't. I wasn't in that place. I wanted right. to do this for the rest of my life, which is why I'm so excited that I'm doing this now. Um, but I think, you know, um, I was uh, I was recognized in uh, 2009 by Ernst and Young for Entrepreneur of the Year. Yeah. And um, just the the recognition and the, the the nicest thing about that was people that were in my life um, acknowledged me in a way just through letters that they sent to me. It had nothing to do with the ceremony itself, but when they saw that, read that. And, and just shared like really wonderful things that they appreciated about the mm. relationship with me. And I think sometimes we kind of don't share that with other people. So mm. like expressing the gratitude, like feeling what people were grateful for from our relationship was was moving. At that moment, it had happened. And two other times, also the strategic coach program, they make you, uh, they make you, they ask you to do this exercise to figure out what your unique your, your unique ability is. Yeah. Maybe send out a letter to people that are in your circle and say, you know known me for a while what most impresses you about who i am or what i'm doing and um the, the responses that come yeah are what did they say about you huge. um that uh oh well i got a bunch of different ones but one of them was um that i have this uh, uncanny ability to use both the right brain and the left brain of my mind at the same exact time so i'm able to create really creative but also implementable solutions mm. Um, one of them was that I'm a tremendous leader and motivator of other people, that I inspire people to action, yeah. uh, which I thought was really, really wonderful. Yeah. A lot of people talk about creativity. I mean, you, you said that earlier too, but, um, and I, I value creativity. You know, one, one of the times I was at a, an event and someone said, you know, if you can only leave like one thing to uh, someone, you're on a desert island and you're going to die and this other person is going to go on, then what would you leave with them with? It was like, you know, I want you to be creative. I want you to think creatively about anything yeah. that comes your way because I think, you know, all, most of my successes in life, um, and I'm sure uh, other people probably feel the same way, it, they come out of, of periods of failure or, or stuckness where right. you're, you're, you're blocked. Yeah. I think that, that ability to, like, just get outside of it for a second, like, don't internalize it, and just think creatively about that situation. What else could you do? How else could you handle it? Whatever is a, is a gift, you know? So for me... Um, you know, that's, that's important. It's an important yeah. part of my life. So. That's such a big value for you, Jason. What do you, how do you instill that in your kids? Like, what do you do with your kids to foster their creativity or get them thinking differently? Um, that's interesting. So my older son, um, Jack, he is like super duper creative. Like he just, he's imaginative. Like he, he does all sorts of like crazy play. Like he'll think of like different scenarios and he'll act them out and, and um, come up with, um, you know, plays and skits and things like right. that. So like theatrical, like superheroes or whatever it happens to be, but just always thinking of different things. Like he's he's talked about different ways that he would create a business in the future and, hmm. you know, use it to change the world and make it a better place and, you know, what have you. So it's kind of interesting. My other one, um, you know, right now he's planning to be a ninja when he grows up. So we'll see what happens with Josh. <laughs> uh, he's, he's very focused on that. But but what's interesting, like this morning um, we were talking at breakfast and he's been watching how a lot of kids his age are creating YouTube videos. Mm. And he said to me, he's like, Dad, I'd like to create a video. And so our plan for this weekend is to shoot a video. Get him and, on right now. Where is he? And to do that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's uh, <laughs> I think he's at home having oh, a plate yeah. swimming pool. But uh but you know he he's he he's been like looking at how people are creating videos and like their kids are like doing reviews of games like that they like and how they like to do that and whatever and I think it's a skill right as we look at how the world's changing like we're doing this right now like why not start when you're six how great would you be when you're amazing you know, amazing so, you know so he asked to do that and uh, I thought wow like that'd be pretty cool um, and he's been like researching and he's like I've got a bunch of topics I'd like to talk about. I was like, okay. Really? What's he going to talk yeah. about? I'm really curious. I don't know yeah, we didn't go through. I, I will definitely I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to need everyone's help on this uh, podcast to help me promote my kids YouTube channel. So I'll uh hopefully you'll uh, you'll love help me to do, do it. That. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm pretty excited about that, you know. And you know just just I think letting them be imaginative and 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 not like I think 
my parents um, were pretty supportive, although I remember my father saying to me when I was going to go to theater school, he's like, so I'm going to pay for you to go to school for you to go to shop class and like point some lights at things like that's ridiculous. You know, so like we had that argument. And I was like, I think it'll turn out OK. Like, let's like, you know, settle down. Um, and, and he did. And he supported me. And, and then afterwards, he came back and said to me, oh, I wish I did what you do. You know, so wow. that was interesting. But, you know, but I just I want them to experience and explore different things. And yeah. so if they want to try something, we try and encourage them to, to try it. And um, I try not to push him in, them into anything because I feel like, you know, I don't naturally wanna... kind of gravitate towards things like they're like like my Jack is like super interested in different things and he goes hyper like responsive and deep into certain things that he loves and I'd rather you know like he it's like funny like at school like he he hates math because of the way they give him math to do but he is super good at math and so when it's mm-hmm. in the context of science right. not math he's awesome at it and so like yeah. it's I just want them to kind of explore and and you know and do that if and, uh, and and kind of see what what they like. I love focusing on strengths. You know what I mean. So uh, yeah. it raises all everything raises up yeah. together. So. Jason, I just want to thank you so much for taking the time and sharing your your knowledge and uh, expertise uh, with everyone. Um, where should we point people towards? Obviously, um, I mean, the, where I've been checking out and, and reading through the blog posts and is cxformula.com. Um, and then, obviously, you mentioned uh, go.cxformula.com backslash Inspired Insider if they want to get the um, the ebook on the seven mistakes. Anywhere else we should point people towards? I think that's good for the moment. You know, um, we're going to have... Talk uh, about the program gonna... a little bit because because um, you offer, I mean, beyond the seven customer experience killers, um, what else? Yeah, we have a couple things. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Um, I, just just to cap off on the other thing, we're gonna we're gonna be launching a podcast um, right after the first of the year, okay. which will be talking about uh, all sorts of great customer experience things. So um, stay tuned for that. And uh, and I'm not sure when exactly this uh, is gonna go live, but um, by I hope by the time this is live, our website will be updated because there's a new one that I just looked at this morning that looks awesome. Uh, that's uh, replacing the last one. That's gonna have a bunch more information and and blog posts and and media and content stuff on there. So so definitely check those out. Um, as far as our program, we offer a couple of different ways uh, that people can work with us. The the one the first thing is we have a program called the CX Formula um, Online Workshop, and basically we take people through a 10 week training program. And it's and I say training, but it's really in, interactive. It's a it's both online learning through some videos and stuff, some homework, and then we have coaching calls where we literally get on and work with you and coach you. So it's a real interactive program that'll help you go from you know, zero to 60 on your experience very quickly. And w- people leave that program with a very clear understanding of what they need to do. They've actually started implementing some of it and they've started seeing the benefits of, you know, raving customer fans, viral word of mouth and a growth in revenue and some reduction in costs. So that's that's one way to do it. We also have a workshop that you can um, add on the end of that, which is a two day customer journey mapping workshop where you come in and we work with you and you can bring in as many of your team members as you like. You know, we have to pay for them, but you know, you can bring them in and we literally go through and work on your entire customer journey. Um, we map it all out so that you have a really huge actionable plan, very visual, but also like implementable action items from that. Um, we do some private group uh, coaching and we do some private one-on-one coaching or, or, or work with people. So um, depending on the, the fit, you know, we'll, we'll do a few limited client engagements like that uh, each year. So, yeah. And you said there's a mastermind too. Oh yeah. Well, so that's, that's not, that's kind of like private by invitation only, yeah. but we do, I do have a, a mastermind and that's for, um, I would say up to a million dollars in revenue. Um, no more than that. It wouldn't be in a peer group at that point, but it's, you know, zero to, to a million. I think uh, the highest person there's got a million. Um, and, you know, it's it's a way to have a peer interaction, and we do some. It's 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 a it's a hybrid coaching slash mastermind program. So it's not full mastermind. There's some coaching, yeah. and it's for people that are in a variety of businesses. We have both online businesses and bricks and mortar. Yeah. Um, but it's uh, the culture of that group is important. Um, I want to keep it small. I think there's like four uh, or five, four, four. I think there's four slots in that group that are uh, possibly available, but I'm not in a rush you to like fill to keep them. it I small. Just, 
I want to keep it small and I want to keep it intimate and I want to keep it the right fit. So I won't put any competitive businesses in there because we get really, you know, into uh, a lot of detail and uh, the community. It's it's got the uh, it's got like a real gestalt of how we operate it and it's also got a lot of confidentiality. Um, so I don't want people to feel uncomfortable sharing anything. Um, so I don't put any competitive businesses yeah. in there and. You gotta have a, a a really the right mindset and the right cultural yeah. fit. So you've uh, done so. many masterminds and many groups and many much coaching. Who who do you consider some of your mentors? Who do you go to when you need business advice? Uh, well, I've got a tremendous amount of friends that have that are definite mentors yeah. that I that I go to. Um, like on a more specific way, like I'm in uh, a group called the Genius Network with Joe Polish. I think you know that. So well, Dan Cashel uh, introduced us. Yeah, yeah Dan I definitely Dan. introduced us. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Um, so I'm in that group. Um, so, so not only is Joe and Dan and, uh, mentors, but, but there's a lot of people in that group that are just amazing at different things. So you get, uh, you get a really wonderful, uh, group of people to, to choose from, to meet. And obviously that's how I met you. So the, the network just expands from there. Yeah. Uh, strategic coach, you know, Dan Sullivan, uh, has been a coach of mine for, uh, many, 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 many years. Um, so, uh, the strategic coach has been a, a great program. I'm also in, uh, Jeff Walker's platinum plus mastermind. Yeah. So, uh, just some real badass people in that group. Uh, both groups uh, are badass people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're all, they're all are, uh, really great programs. So I've been very fortunate, um, to be involved in those programs. And, and yeah. I, I learn, I'm a, I'm a learner. I'm a student, you know, I, I'm as much as I can teach and help other people. I'm also learning more stuff and I'm integrating it and I'm figuring out how to iterate um, stuff that I'm doing now and add newest, greatest, latest kind of stuff into it. So, um, so I love that. Yeah. You know, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Jason, this has been so much fun. I really appreciate oh, it. This is great. So, I love it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Everyone check it out. CXformula.com. You should check it out just for the mere fact of, I mean, for one, there's an amazing book there with the seven customer experience killers, but to see how they actually work up their you know, customer experience for that. So check us out. So, thanks, thanks Jason. Jeremy. All right. Have a great one. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire. Came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.